It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 2nd of November. I'm James Spann. Hey, don't forget, a week from tomorrow, the once-a-year spotter training we do. Everybody always asks, when are you going to train? Well, we do it a week from tomorrow, November 10th, at the BJCC in downtown Birmingham. I'm excited that Kevin Laws of the National Weather Service will be there for a session on dual polarization radar. That's something uh, all of us in the weather world need to understand better. Uh, Brian Peters, of course, will do the training. And if you've been before, you need to come again for retraining. If you've never been, we need more trained spotters. Hope to see you a week from tomorrow, 9 o'clock. Just show up. Doesn't cost a dime. No need to register. All right, there's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam this morning, clear and cool. Hey, look at the Christmas lights up already in Fayette. I like that. Tis the season. And we'll cross the state line. Look at downtown Columbus, Mississippi on a clear, cool Friday morning. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s. Looks like the uh, cool spots are Anniston and Fort Payne with 36, Birmingham at 43. And the trough is still there over the east. It's been there all week long as the pattern has been blocked. But things begin to change over the weekend and we'll start to warm up. We'll be up in the uh, mid-70s today, maybe touching 80 tomorrow. Uh, peering over the convective outlooks, uh, no severe weather expected over the next five days. Tomorrow on day two, we note low end 5% severe weather probabilities around the Arklatex, but again, that's only a small chance. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening of next week. The numbers are highest east of here, as a uh, low will likely form off the South Atlantic coast and move northeast. That's probably going to wind up being a nor'easter for the upper Atlantic coast by Wednesday. Uh, but I don't think it rains a lot here uh, Sunday with showers. And again, with that system forming east of here, there could be a touch of light rain Monday and Tuesday, but I just don't think it rains a lot, as you'll see. Let's look. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. And by the way, we're, we're using some new graphics. People have been asking. This shows the vorticity of the upward motion so much better with the colors. It's so easy to pick out. Uh, and you can see the upper low is still sitting over New Jersey. We've got a northwest flow aloft here, and, and the day will be just gorgeous. Uh, sunny with a high in the uh, mid-70s. The uh, GFS and the NAM are showing 75. Tomorrow, thickness values coming up will be very close to 80. That might be the warmest day of the month of November. All right, Sunday, you can see uh, energy gathering to the north and west of the state in the northwest flow aloft. There's a little bit of energy coming through here, but not very much. And down below that, you can see there's a surface boundary based on those thickness values passing through here. But, boy, the moisture is really limited. So, you know, I just don't think it rains a lot Sunday. Could there be a shower or two? Yes. But rain amounts should be very light, very spotty, with limited moisture and limited dynamic support. Now, Monday, you can see what's happening. Strong energy is coming down over Kansas City, and that's going to keep on rotating through here and spin up a nor'easter for the upper Atlantic coast by Wednesday of next week. But on Monday, with that energy approaching, you know, there could be a few showers trying to move in from the northwest, but like Sunday, the moisture is quite limited. We'll probably insert a small chance of a shower Monday. Uh, Monday, noticeably cooler with highs in the uh, uh, 60s. And then Tuesday, you can see what happens. This deep uh, upper low and trough will be forming over Alabama and Georgia. And uh, down below that, as surface low begins to form in response to that on the stall front uh, down around Jacksonville, Florida. But you can see this is showing the bulk of the rain with this feature east of here. We might mention a small chance of a shower Tuesday on the eastern third of the state, uh, but West Alabama should be dry be kind of cool and breezy on Tuesday with a high around 60. And then Wednesday, there's your nor'easter, 997 millibar low, uh, just below Atlantic City. And again, you know, it's not going to be destructive, but they, just, they sure don't need that. That's just going to be a big nuisance. Windy, wet, there could be some interior snow. And then Thursday, the thing is uh, sitting over the uh, coast of Maine, and it turns much colder, windy up there uh, in, the, in the zone that's so heavily damaged by Sandy. But around here, we'll be in great shape uh, the re rest of next week. Just cool and dry. There's a week from today. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s, if this is correct. Let's go out there a few more days. This is Monday, November 12th. And uh, this time, the trough is not as sharp. You know, we've seen... Some looks in the GFS of a very dynamic trough coming in here with severe weather. 
Uh, this looked not as impressive. Still, we'd have rain with this and maybe some thunder with a cold front coming in. And that's a 1,036 millibar high over Montana. Very cold back there behind it. But again, this is not really a classic severe weather look like we have seen on other runs. But still, it's way too early. This is 10 days out there. It'll change again. And then the end of the forecast on the 17th of November. Uh, very deep trough back in the west. And uh, we've got uh, ridging here and... Uh, Again, some evidence of thunderstorms west of the state, cold air up north. But if that's right, we would be dry and fairly mild. But we all know that will change because that is in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Try to crank out another video here by 4 o'clock or so today. Kind of tough on Fridays. We might be able to make that happen. Uh, don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 in Birmingham on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock this evening. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.